Hello, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're continuing work on the electrical system in the camper van, the 1991 Mitsubishi Delica, little GDM van. In the last video, we got the power inverter, the charger, and the DC charger all hooked up into the van, along with all the fuses and stuff. Today, we're gonna be mostly working on distributing the raw power from the inverter and the battery throughout the van. So here we have a distribution box. One side is the 12 volt system, and then on the other side, we have the 120 volt system, which will power the outlets. All in one nice, easy box. This is the other stuff we're doing today. Let's get started. installed I have to provide it with 120 volt and 12 volt which is both coming from here the 120 volt will be hardwired from the inverter right there and the 12 volt is coming off of this fuse block right there and then this is the ground for the 12 volt 12 volt goes into here positive ground and the 120 volt actually plugs into this outlet it's already pre-wired in here for that 120 volt outlet as you have to put the input into this so this will be like the uh, the master breaker and then we'll have 320m breakers on this side A lot of you guys didn't want me to do this, but uh, oh well. To be fair, there was already a hole there. Just think of this as um, free body work. <laughs> but in reality, it's gonna look awesome. painful one. and it's rainy today, but at least I get to work inside a vehicle instead of on the outside. Just gonna continue running all the wires. Also look, I uh, upgraded from that ugly riced out wheel, a nice wooden grip royal.
right, so it's time to do our first test. We have the two outlets over here wired up. We have the input from outside and the outlet outside wired up. We have the 12 volt side wired up. Turn the battery on. All right, battery's on. Now we're gonna turn the inverter on. This hasn't exploded yet. Now to give power to the, the board, I'm gonna flip this breaker on. And now to give power to that, I'm gonna flip this breaker on. Ah, it's charging, ha! <laughs> so that's pretty much the entire 120 volt system done. I am gonna get one more breaker and run an outlet to the front. That's another thing I have to kind of do outside. For now, I'm gonna start running the 12 volt system. So yet again, it's just uh, routing a bunch of wires and you know, doing some connections and it's, it's all really simple stuff, but it's pretty satisfying to do. On the bus, I used all butt connectors, but I actually bought some little uh, two pin, really small profile connectors to use for like the lights and stuff. So uh, let's keep working. Well, I didn't film much, because as you can tell, it's pretty dark in here, even uh, with the door open. But I think I got the lights wired up. Oh no, doesn't work. What the hell? Well, I figured it out. It's the next day. I'm gonna continue working on the electrical system. Next up is doing the lights for the other side of the wall, for the little kitchen area. So they're gonna go there and there. Once we have our shelf up here, they're gonna be mounted on the bottom of the shelf, pointing down. <laughs> See this works, eh? I'm gonna just turned on the thing. Oh wait, I gotta go. To, gotta go get a fuse. Oh, I'm look, it's already turned on. And as you can tell, it works. I just added this 12 volt USB charger. Charge my AirPods. Look at that. And that will be mounted right by the bedside table. So we can just charge our phones nice and easily at night. I'm actually going to go ahead and test the charger. That. I think that's in. 14.6 volts, that works! <laughs> what is it, day three, day four? Still frickin' raining. But it is at least just spitting today, so I'm gonna work on the stuff that requires me being around the van. 120 volt outlet up here, and uh, along with a voltage meter for the RV battery up here. We got our voltmeter and our 120 volt outlet packed to the battery and sure enough, haha, 12.9 volts, baby. Let's um, turn on the inverter, turn the main thing on, and let's turn that thing on. The outlet works and you can tell that uh, the uh, volt gauge is also working because the voltage drops a little bit when you turn something on like this. We got our water pump, and our water pump's plugged in. So this should turn on. Yep. 
There we are. We're gonna mount this later, but uh, at least it's wired up now. And with that, the electrical system is done. Water pump, outlets, USB, lights back here, another outlet over here, more lights over here, our battery monitor, our button, then a voltage gauge, and an outlet up there. Let's not forget all of this. Outlet outside and an inlet outside, and of course, all of this stuff that we did in the last video. There are just a few more things that we're going to add. We've got some lights for the roof rack. We've got a solar panel setup, and then we also have some more interior lights, uh, some RGB like LED strips, just, you know, for some cool mood lighting. If you guys have any other ideas of what I should add to the electrical system while we're here, drop a comment in the comment section below. Cause once, you know, once we finish the interior, there's no easy way to go back to building the electrical system. I'm super happy with the way everything turned out by far the best electrical system I've ever done. This is part of the reason why this electrical box is so awesome. It's got this cover. It allowed me to label all of the breakers and all the fuses. And now everything is nice and safe, so it won't short out or anything like that. Also, I noticed that a light will turn on if any of these fuses blow. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out. Goodbye.